Elgana. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Not the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. Working your way up will be fun. All right, that was a lie. It won't be fun. Some adventurer I am. Barely set out and I'm already daunted. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. <laughs> of course. But only because you used that... You kicked my puppy voice. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. Okay, Meryl is now a member of our party, and she can be recruited for any of our stories. Not yet. Shem, who oversees the docks, says he doesn't want any more knife ears than necessary. Please. I am sorry for your loss, mistress, but I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. Can we help this woman? This could be Mother. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariani. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares, dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and... ...dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. I raised Fainriel myself, here in the alienage. Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent. But we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainriel still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. What kind of dreams is he having? He dreams of demons calling to him. Pulling him into their world. Every day, it grows harder to wake him. That is why I turn to the Circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. Abominations are always so awkward at family reunions. No, please, you must find him before... Before the demons finish their work. He must be brought to safety. If you won't do it for Fainriel, do it for Kirkwall. The Templars say a lad like my son is a danger to the whole city if left untrained. I'll bring your son back to safety. I promise. I don't know where Fainrail has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainrail's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainrail might have sought him out. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. 
may not do that quest right away. Okay, we are in the Elven Alienage. It doesn't take up a huge plot of land on the map here. So you can assume that the Alienage is actually larger than what we are seeing here. But this is where we will find Meryl's residence. She managed to get herself a house here. And it's where she lives. It's nicer than where we live. Huh. I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit on. Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. It's cozy. And your fairy friends are charming. Oh, are the rats back? I thought I'd found all their holes. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. I'm sure I could think of a better way for you to thank. Well, of course you could. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. What made you unpopular with the Dalish? Being first to the Keeper, I was always a bit secluded. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadal. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible Keeper. I was never that good with people. You seem to be getting the hang of it already. I'm glad you think so. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. Gained some Merrill friendship there. Oh, these people were in the corner of the room for some damn reason. There's not as much to do here as there is to do in her own home. But, you know, you can interact with some of her stuff. Massive hallways. Is this a toilet? <laughs> That's depressing. And there's all sorts of stuff to go and do. Let's go back to Gamlin's house. So, someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not that he didn't do his best to try and read it first. Ew, look at all this stuff. A lot of garbage. <laughs> I thought there might be something dangerous in there. Camlon. Ha. <laughs> Gamlin's broke. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll end this one here as a short episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye.